All right, so this is my first solo win on the Black Ops 4 Blackout Beta. That's kind of a tongue twister. I've messed that up a couple times. But anyway, first impression, I'll say, within the first 12 hours of the game. I've only played this for probably six hours, I'd say, in total. Uh, I would say that it has been a phenomenal experience. Obviously, there's the bugs. There's the, the little things um, that can be improved from the technical aspect of things or the, the server or the connection or whatever. I don't really know the proper terminology, but we'll just go with, with that. I would say that it's been a very solid game and to be honest with you for this being within the first right now as I'm recording this within the first 24 hours of the game being released um, it feels more I, I, it feels better actually than some of the full release games so I'm very optimistic about that um, and as I said before some of the technical issues I'm not necessarily concerned about because uh, from all the good things I've heard about Treyarch, obviously I've enjoyed the Black Ops uh, franchise, I guess we can put it. I've, en I've enjoyed that uh, tremendously, so uh, I'm not very uh, worried about kind of this moving forward, the, the state of this game. But for people that have been or that are in the gaming scene or in Call of Duty more than me and that are more involved on the development side of, of, of video games in general and, and of Call of Duty in general, I think uh, there was a lot of positive feedback from the first day, we'll say. Obviously, a lot of pro Call of Duty players playing it, streaming it. It seemed the general consensus. I didn't get a chance to see everybody stream and watch it extensively. I kind of saw it here and there. But um, it, it seemed that everybody was very positive. There was a very positive feedback to the game, is what I'm trying to say. There's some quirks in the game that I think that they'll adjust, and that's just a personal opinion. I think the looting system is is good. I like the idea, but I think on console, being able to switch out scopes, being able to pick things up can kind of get a little bit tedious. I know if you play, uh, not Fortnite necessarily, but PUBG, where you can adjust your scopes on your guns, it's relatively easy to switch from, you know, a two-time or three-time to a red dot if you if you want. Uh, now, I've never played that on Xbox, so I don't know console-wise how that works, but for PC, it's obviously relatively easy. I can auto run, switch it, jump right back in and I, I really don't miss a beat. I think that's all something that the trailer is going to work through on this. Again, I'm not a very, uh, I'm not very connected on the development side. I don't, I don't know the terminology. I don't know what goes into this. So I'm not going to pretend to be a, an expert on this. I'm just giving a very uh, novice, I'll say, approach or, or uh, outlook on this, which is sometimes good. It's sometimes good to get the general idea or consensus on on the game i think it kind of uh evens the playing field obviously if i was more tech savvy then a lot of people or a lot more people might not be able to relate to what i'm trying to say but anyway i think the overall this game is uh, has been very solid um but uh, again the biggest thing for me is the looting system i think if it could be refined a little bit make it a little bit easier a little bit faster then it, it, it'll help speed the game up and people won't get caught necessarily looting all the time i did get caught a couple times trying to pick up a sniper and you have to detach all the the attachments from one gun, okay. drop the gun, and then uh, you know the attach the or uh, equip the sniper, and then attach all the attachments, and it kind of gets a little bit difficult, especially if you're in the heat of things. You need to switch out guns quickly. The other thing too is the proximity. When you drop all of your attachments, you have to look down at the ground and and literally try to pick up every individual thing, as opposed to being able to open a menu and see what's what's near you. And I think I do believe that that was already announced that they are going to to make that option at some point. So again, it's not a, it's not a, a negative criticism, just something that kind of as I'm playing the game, uh, as, it, as it first releases, uh, things I'm thinking about too. So aside from server things, because there's not really much we can do about that, it's just it is what it is. There's a gajillion people trying to play the game at the same time. There was just some issues that I had with, with, uh, with bullet registration where uh, I'm shooting through a window and my, my red dot or my crosshair, I'll say, is directly on the body and I don't get any hit registration whatsoever. I don't know if that's a glitch with the window because it seems like it happened most of the time when I'm shooting through windows. But besides that, again, I think that's more of a server issue than anything else. I like the healing system. Uh, it was the same in the in the regular multiplayer beta. I like that. I like that there's different kits that you can you can attach or equip that uh, they give you different uh, different health and it's relatively fast. So if I'm running, I can I can first aid or I can bandage whatever you want to call it. I like that aspect. It keeps the game flowing. I don't have to stop med kit and then someone gets a free shot on me or whatever. Uh, it's it's too reminiscent. That's too reminiscent of, of PUBG where I'm getting shot at and I hide behind a rock and I take 15 seconds to bandage up and then I get sniped in the back from somebody that's, you know, 500 meters away on a, on a, on a hill. So I like that aspect. I'm kind of jumping all over the place, but from the aspect of uh, the map, 
I think the map is is laid out very well. It seems like there's there's parts of the map that are that flow they kind of flow together very well. It seems, and we'll get more familiar with the map as as you play it. I love the incorporation of multiplayer maps, kind of bringing them all into one. I think that was a fantastic idea, as opposed to creating a brand new layout. I like that they took aspects of different games of different game maps uh, and put them together and and expanded on it. It's not just Okay, we took Nuketown. This is the exact footprint of Nuketown. And right next to it, we're going to put Raid. And right next to that, we're going to put Standoff or whatever. I like that they kind of went a little bit deeper than that. And I, I, it just kind of adds... It's a little bit nostalgic, I'll admit, to, to see that. And, and to be, you know, running through a couple different maps that uh, I, I remember from Black Ops 1 or, or from Black Ops 2 that I'm like, wow, you know, I, re I remember those days. Um, but it's expanded on. So it's not exactly the same... It's, it's kind of a, you know, this is what it looks like, you know, outside the map or whatever. I, I don't really know how to word it, but I, I just think it's a really cool, uh, really cool what they did with the, with, with the maps. The only other issue I think that I have as it relates to the gameplay is the armor. I, I like the idea of armor. I like the idea of, of having different levels of armor. I just think that some of it can be OP. I think that level three armor is ridiculously OP. So I think just kind of toning back a little bit of the the armor would be would be beneficial. Uh, again, it's nothing. It's not a crazy uh, adjustment. I'm not asking for them to like take away armor or anything or make it only to where you either have armor or you don't. I like the the levels of armor and all that stuff. I think the reason that it is OP, the level three armor is OP. I, they did say in the the live stream that they had a couple days ago before they released the blackout was that the level three armor is the only one that has head armor. So I think that does a lot of, that makes the difference right there. Uh, so maybe either take the, the head armor out or add head armor to the other two. So level one, level two, and level three would all have head armor, but make, you know, kind of make it to where each of them can withstand different amounts of damage, we'll say. Outside of that, I think the guns are pretty well balanced. It didn't seem that any, any one gun was uh, more overpowering than another. And again, that's that's just kind of based on a couple hours of gaming obviously once i start to play the game more they start to update it and, and and all that stuff that it could change that could change but i think overall the guns seem pretty pretty well balanced i like the attachments i think that the amount of ammunition that goes with each gun is a little bit tedious to kind of know what ammo goes with what i know i mean i kind of had the same feeling with PUBG when i first started playing that with like yeah, okay, what what ammo or what guns go with 762? What guns go with 556? What guns go with 338? I think that that over time it it's going to be second nature. You know, when you see a sub it takes 9 mm or you see a sniper it takes 50 cal or 338 or when you see you know a KN it takes 762. I, I don't even know if it actually takes 762, but the point being that you'll start to pick up on that and it'll start to become second nature. So I'm not too concerned about that. It's not a complaint, but it just seems a little bit tedious right now that just trying to get into the game and and start to get the flow of the game Again, playing Call of Duty on console for me is you rush around 50 kills a game, you know, 30 kills a game. That's just the the idea. So when I'm backing down from gunfights or, uh, you know, when I'm I'm engaging with somebody that's point blank and I got a three times scope on my gun, I'm just not used to that yet on console. So I'm just trying to take it a bit at a time, trying to get used to the mechanics of a BR on console. And I, I know I keep saying that and I don't want it to be construed or misconstrued as a negative. If you play BR games on console, perfectly fine. I'm not I'm not complaining about that. Just for me personally, I think I would do better or have more fun maybe on on PC, but we'll see. Uh, I'm not going to rule out console just yet. So, I've had a lot of fun so far. Besides that, um I don't really think of any there's anything else that that I have disagreed with or that I've uh, been upset about. This could potentially take over the BR scene. I wouldn't say Fortnite anytime soon. I think this could be the PUBG killer. I'm trying to think of everything else. I know H1Z1's making a push to kind of redo their game. I think that this, from a console version, having played both this and the console version of H1Z1, I think that this is, this trumps that like tremendously. So I don't think that competing wise uh, for BRs that that would interfere at all. This could be the the new BR that people grind. Uh, I think Treyarch's the type of company, um, the type of developers to really keep up with things, really listen to the community, hopefully. 
I know that for, that's one of the things that people praise Fortnite about is that they they listen to, to people, they listen to complaints, they listen to the f- just general feedback, I'll say, of uh, of the co- community. So I'm pretty excited, kind of where this goes. Um, I've had I've had a lot of fun playing solos and a lot of fun playing duos. I haven't played squads yet, but at this point, I'm just kind of rambling. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up the commentary part. This was a solo win, seven kills, um, which I haven't been able to get above seven kills. But either way, I'm starting to get the hang of this on the on the console side of things in the BR mode, and it's been a lot of fun so i'm looking forward to more gameplay more wins um learning the game more and, and kind of seeing how this this evolves i'm really excited to see where this goes because i think this could help open up a new completely new interest in call of duty in general which would be great to see you know the pro players grinding this and making content and then having the multiplayer side of things you know with with just the call of duty tournaments and and cod champs for this coming year i think will be exciting hopefully and you know who knows this could potentially be a money maker as well this could be there could be tournaments with blackout i already see that you know in the works i can imagine you know having br tournaments i'm really excited to see where this goes and i haven't been really excited like this for a video game in a long time in terms of its development obviously we get those little games that come out here and there that you have an excitement for that you want you feel like grinding and playing for for a certain amount of time but then you know after a month or so you're just kind of like ah you know what's next and it's kind of been for me it's been stale recently with video games kind of getting tired of, of different things so this is rejuvenating it's nostalgic and i'm really excited to see where it goes so anyway i'll leave the commentary here hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay the seven kill win this is my first blackout win if you guys like this please like subscribe comment do all that cool shit and i'll see you guys in the next video There it is, baby. Yeah, bitch. Seven kill dub.